I think patients don't want to resist treatment. I think they don't want to resist getting well, but they're afraid of what that means. A lot of times individuals are fearful of what will remain if they don't have their eating disorder anymore. The eating disorder has become a part of their identity, and so what is life going to be without the eating disorder? But they do want change, and they do want to have hope, and so some of the things that are important to work with an individual around when they come into treatment are looking at some very basic things that we know impact a person's chances for recovery. So a very simple thing is compliance. We know that patients that follow the treatment team's recommendations are going to do better in their treatment than people that don't follow recommendations. So one of the daily things you can check in with an individual about is, are you doing what the doctor's recommending? Are you following the treatment team's recommendations? Are you taking these challenges that are being recommended to you and trying them out, testing them out and seeing how it will go. We know compliance contributes to recovery. Another thing is confidence. It's called self-efficacy. So how confident are you that you can make a change in your life? And a lot of times people with eating disorders don't have self-efficacy. They don't believe that things can be different for them. And maybe they've tried before and tried many times and it just hasn't worked for them. So what you have to do is help them to start building that confidence. And to go from being extremely ill and needing to be in the hospital to being 100% well, that's overwhelming to even think about for an individual. So what you want to do is start and say, okay, what's one thing you can do today different? What is that one thing you feel that you can master today? And let's try that. And then by making those small changes, over time, the person starts recognizing the change is possible. And hey, maybe they can do this. And so they start building self-efficacy and that leads to a belief in this, themselves that they can change. And we know self-efficacy is clearly correlated with recovery.